Fora TV. The world is thinking. Was the universe created by God? And there's one very significant fact. The universe is fit for the emergence of life. Otherwise, I could not be here talking to you. I've mentioned one or two things about the way the sun produces energy that have to be just right for star stars to remain stable, to create a constant supply roughly of heat and light over the time scale required for evolution to happen. And there are quite a number of parameters, the velocity of light, ratios between the charge of the electron and the velocity of light, all of which affect how reactions happen. And quite honestly, if they were not very, very, very close to the actual values, we could not possibly be here. This universe has got just the right makeup to allow life to exist. Now, that's obviously true, otherwise I wouldn't be talking to you. But why is it true? How can it be that if physics or science or astronomy can't say why these parameters have the values they have, how can they have them? Well, there are only really two possibilities in my mind. This, I've just said here, there's nothing in the laws of physics that says the universe must be able to support life. If many of the fundamental constants of nature were not just right, we couldn't be here. So what are the two possibilities? Well, one is that the universe was created by what we might call a god, a creator, who set it up so the universe could support life. So it was designed so that life could actually arise. I don't, of course, believe in what some people call creationism. To me, it would be far better and more intelligent if you want an oak tree to make an acorn, let the acorn grow into an oak tree. So if you make the right conditions, hopefully we would arise anyway. You don't have to create us as individual beings. The other possibility is that there are myriads of universes, all with different properties, and of course the only people will ever worry about it are those that can arise in a universe which just happens to be suitable for life. So this is called a multiverse. It's something put forward by a current astronomer royal, Sir Martin Rees. Now, some people say our universe has an enormous size and we only see so far. Beyond our horizon, the universe may have different properties. And so somewhere out there, the properties might not be right for life. They just happen to be here. Not sure I go for that one. The other possibility is that there are more dimensions in the universe than we know of. Perhaps that's not the right word. In the cosmos, I think I should say. The cosmos is all enveloping. Um, there are physics theories, string theory, which imply there might be more dimensions than the four we talk about, three of space, one of time. Uh, many of them, there are five theories that have ten dimensions, six of them. They're all curled up, and they form what are called strings, and the way those strings vibrate give rise to the different particles that make up the universe. A very clever man called Ed Witten. Has anyone heard of Ed Witten? One or two. He's probably the most brilliant physicist in the world at the present time. He's managed to bring all of those theories together by saying, in fact, there are 11 dimensions, possibly more. And there's another dimension, at least, outside those that we can conceive of. And so here's an analogy. Um, if I brought a, a, a sliced loaf, I could split up, let's say, three or four of the slices, slice, 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 slice. On each of those slices, I could put some ants. And I think they could probably survive there for a bit, eating the bread for a while anyway. Now, I don't know if ants can sort of see high up above them. They're probably, they live in a two-dimensional world, basically. And certainly, I think that the ants on one of these slices of bread would probably not know about the ants on this slice of bread here. To them, they'd be living on a two-dimensional world, and that wouldn't worry them at all. But we, because we can see and think in three dimensions, can look down on that row of sliced, sliced bits of bread and see, in fact, that they are just two-dimensional universes, in effect, within a larger three-dimensional space. Do you get the idea? So it may well be that our universe is just one of myriads of universes that all coexist but within 
additional dimension? Well, I don't think there's any ever way that we can tell whether that's the case or not. We can't say which of those two possibilities is true. So although I don't think uh, science can say that God has to exist, he certainly, so it certainly cannot say a God or a creator does not exist.